Today I'll be talking about the way to go on the right stuff. And when I mean right stuff, I mean what you do on a daily basis, what um, services you render to people, your career, what you do that makes you happy, I mean what you have laid your hands on to do. So to be successful in life, there are certain influences you can inflict in whatever you do and you will greatly affect the outcome. So if you're interested, you need to keep on watching this video. Alright guys, you're welcome back to my channel and it is so good to be on your screens again like I always say. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button right here and yes so let me get right into what i have for you today so here with me is a list of such influences you can make or you can apply to undertakings and you can be guaranteed that the result will be absolutely amazing so the number one thing i'll be sharing with you on way to go on the right stuff is do it with confidence what do I mean by that? When you do something confidently, it becomes more easier and enjoyable. Believe in yourself. Believe in your abilities. Believe that in whatever you lay your hands to do, you're going to do it well. Okay, we all know that um, in our work, maybe your career, whatever you lay your hands upon, there, there's always a, a problem or an obstacle to overcome. But you know, when you do something with confidence, confidence is visualizing that you can do this thing confidently without problem or an obstacle the bridge between wanting to do something and actually doing it is confidence okay so confidence is like actualizing what you have set out to do so in rendering your services to someone or what you have laid your hands to do make sure you're confident about it that way you enjoy doing it i mean it becomes even more easier even when you're having a hard time you know in carrying out that work second point i'll be sharing with you on way to go on the right stuff is do it with attention i mean in whatever you do give it your all Completely give your hundred percent to it and there's no two way about it. Don't give your 99 give it your hundred percent Do you know that when you're focused and you give your full concentration in whatever you do? It's going to make a huge difference in the results or with whatever the outcome you want it to be the more focused you are the better the quality in the end but when your mind is wandering or your attention is scattered all over what you're doing is obviously at stake. Okay, I'm going to take myself as an example. I'm making a video to you right now and I'm trying to deliver it well. And um, I'm just thinking about, okay, I want to take a cool shower right now. Oh, I want to get this thing as soon as I am done. It's going to be, it's going to show in my video that this girl, she's just beating around the bush, you know. She's not going straight to the point. And that is because my attention is divided so please in whatever you're doing whatever you lay your hands upon if you're rendering service to people or maybe that's what you do for a living you know pay attention to it give it your hundred percent you don't want your clients or your customers to be complaining giving you like what are you doing so please give what you're doing your own divided attention and see it blossom and flourish into what you'll be satisfied about all right so the number three thing I'll be sharing with you on the way to go on the right stuff. You guys already know this. I mean, you can even deduce it from, you know, the way I'm acting right now. Okay, I was going to tell you, it is do it with a smile. Ah, oh, God, I cannot overemphasize this have you noticed or seen someone doing one thing or the other that appears to be hard and just put a smile on their face? And it seems like, wow, they're actually enjoying what they're doing. For real, I see that often and I actually admire people like that. In whatever you're doing, you have a choice. You can be miserable doing it or you can be content and be at peace about it. Okay, take for an example. You walk into a restaurant and um, the person to attend to you or the waiter or the waitress to attend to you is actually kind of frowning. I mean, for me, I am not going to move to that side. I'm going to go to someone who's going to attend to me with, you know, you don't have to put on all your 32 and, you know, smile like, but just keep a gentle smile. That's what it takes. And you see how people come to you and they want you to attend to them. 
your smile will positively affect people that cross your path you know people around you and without you even knowing about it no one wants anyone who's going to compound the problems with their life because of their facial expression or the mood you are in you know when you're just frowning or um, when you're rendering a service to your client and you're just not giving that little gentle smile but do you know that no matter how interesting or insignificant an action might seem you know it has a reason for existing so this is why i'm going to be sharing with you this next point which is in what you're going to do right do it with pride be proud of what you're doing when you do something with pride you bring it on a whole new level of importance i mean you treat it with respect you treat it with gratitude when you do so there's a positive energy that you inflict into your actions that it transforms whatever you are doing into something you are worthy of being proud of another point i would like to share with you is do it with your purpose i mean on way to go on that right stuff do it with your purpose have a goal have a direction i mean it should be leading to something else there should be a reason or a logic behind why you're doing it purpose is just like a key in finding fulfillment in whatever it is that you're doing whether it is to accomplish something or it is to prove a point when you set a purpose for your actions you know it helps to keep you on track even when you're derailing you know you tend to t tell yourself okay i have a purpose i have a reason why i'm doing this it keeps you back on track and doing it with a purpose it helps you to achieve what you have set out and what you want the end goal to be so the next point i'll be sharing with you on the way to go on the right stuff is this one is actually very important it's the last but not the least which is do it for you yes do it for yourself after all this is your life even if you're doing something for other people you should also do it for yourself you know that happier you and more successful you will spread among so many people around you it's so true that you might you want to take on a journey you want to start a kind of work you want to just lay your hands on something but are you putting yourself into consideration are you happy about what you're setting to do do you find joy in doing it is it your passion i mean put don't, don't just let anybody push you into what you don't want you are your number one priority like i said earlier so please in whatever you do do it also for yourself so guys the biggest thing you can give yourself is to do everything with confidence attention with pride a smile a purpose and specifically for you so if you enjoyed every bit of this video please do well to put down your comments i'd love to read them and give me a thumbs up click on the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so i'll see you all in my next video i love you all bye